Hi, Trevor Smith here. What I'd like to do in this short film is just share one of the best practices I use when I'm designing presentations. A very simple one, which I think just brings pictures a bit more to life. Let me show you what I mean. So imagine you're starting your presentation. You could be anywhere in the presentation or one slide. You just want to move to the next slide. And of course, I, I really believe pictures are useful in presentations. This picture should support the message. So again, nice picture. You move to the next slide. Again, a full color, full size picture. Again, just supporting the message. Good pictures, I hope, but not very dynamic. Perhaps it's better. Let's look at it a second time. Again, you're at the beginning. You move to the next slide. As you see, the main difference here is the picture is growing slightly, a subtle animation. You can make the picture grow, or alternatively, you can actually make the picture shrink. I believe this is helpful. It just helps bring people's attention to the picture, and you don't see many people doing this, so it does help your presentation stand out. So how can you do it? It's actually very simple. Let's actually just go back to the next slide. Let's move out of slideshow. Or on the slide, click on the slide that you want to change, go into animations, and choose there from the emphasis animation grow and shrink. So as you see, it shows you that it's growing, but that's not so effective. That was too much. You need to go into effect options. As you can see, there is a drop down, but I don't actually use any of these. Go out of there and click on the small arrow underneath with additional effect options. Click on here. Box appears, and as you can see, there's some default settings here. It actually gives a size of 150%. That, that could be useful, but of course, you can choose what you want. The effect I chose was smaller. So I click on here, the 150, and turned it into 110%, making the picture grow by 10%. What's important, click to the end of the number and then hit the return key or the enter key before you hit OK. So that sets the change size. Other things you can change, however, are important. Go up here, you can change the duration or the speed of change. That was quite a fast one set at two seconds. I actually find, again, it does depend on how long you know you're gonna talk for and the effect you want. Setting it for five seconds is quite good. I normally do it not on click, I do it with previous. So that, that makes it grow 10% over five seconds when you move to that slide. The shrink effect is done very similar. Click on the picture. Uh, one thing which is important, I want to point out what you have to do first. Make sure you choose a picture, but make the picture larger than the actual um, slide itself. The picture has to be larger. Again, click on the picture, go to effect options, grow and shrink, so from emphasis, choose Again, the drop down arrow, small arrow, and then just change the size. This time, as I said, I want to make it shrink. So I'm gonna put it in at 90. And again, just move to the end there, hit the return key, and then hit okay. And again, adjust the duration. Again, I'm gonna put that one up to five seconds. And do that with, with previous. So that's, that's how you get the grow and shrink. So just to show you again, I'm doing slideshow, so it should, Begin with the slide, and as you're talking, as you're presenting, the picture just subtly in the background is moving. You talk, you finish what you're talking about, then you move to the next one. Sometimes you can have more grow, sometimes more shrink. You have to choose a subtle option. You don't need to do it with every picture, but as I mentioned, you'll be if you're doing this, you're just giving your, your presentation a chance to stand out more than other people's presentations. Okay, so hopefully you can find that um, best practice useful.